What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of a venomous cobra. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a curve for the spine of our snake. We're gonna start on the top left of our page. I'm just gonna roughly draw a line going across. I'm just gonna bend that down toward the bottom right. I'm gonna follow the curve of this spine as we block in the basic details. Let's start over on the left side. Let's start with a straight line going up. I'm gonna curve the head going up and then across towards the back to right about there. Now from here, let's bend this out and then down towards the spine. Now from this point, let's step down, curve this up and then bend that down towards the side of our page. Let's go back down towards this line. I'm gonna curve the jaw. I'm gonna open this up, coming down and then forward towards the left. Now from the bottom, I'm just gonna taper this across and then back up towards the spine. Now I'm gonna go back to the front of the beak. We're gonna draw the back side of the mouth. Come in, round this out, and then come straight down. Now going back to the jaw, we just want to curve the edge of the body going around. I'm just going to round this out and then follow this curve coming down towards the back. Now I'm going to draw the front of the body following this curve of the spine, coming across and then down. And stepping down, curve this down and then in. Now inside the body, we want to add some curves to help define the shape of the body. I'm starting right here. Bend this across and then up, step up. I just want to repeat this all the way up toward the top of the body. Step down and then repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. Now I'm going to go halfway along this line, step down and draw a small circle for the eye along the top. Now along the corner of the mouth, I'm just going to add that cartilage going across and then down towards the bottom. Along the back side of the mouth, let's add a curve for the throat. Step out and draw that again. From the back of the throat, we're gonna add a curve along the bottom edge of the mouth, coming down towards the front. Now let's add the shape for the tongue. From the bottom, curve around, and then back out. Now you wanna split the tongue along the end. Once we have the basic shape of the head, let's go back and refine our lines. We're going to start at the top of the head. It's going to round this out, going out towards the back. I'm just blending this across. Come down towards the front. Let's round out the top and then pull that down towards the bottom. I'm just going to pull this up towards the center point. Come down and then up. And we want to add some shape to the top edge of the mouth. Just adding these curves, going all the way across. Come down the side towards the jaw, round the jaw, and then go back up. Let's go back to this point. I'm just going to round out the front of the beak with a curve, step in, and draw that again. Now let's add some shape to the lower jaw. Again, just adding some curves going around and down towards the bottom of the mouth. Bump out the jaw. Come in. And we're also going to add some shape to the back side of the mouth. Coming that in. Trim across the top of the mouth. Now adding a little bit of detail around the eye. Just adding some folds. Now once we're happy with the general shape of our drawing, we go back and add some more detail. Starting with the eyes. I'm just adding some wrinkles and scales along the outside. on the 
little highlight along the top of the eye. I'm just going to darken up the bottom, going around that highlight, and shade in the outside. Now we're just going to move over and add in the nostril, starting with the front edge, and just layer in the back, darken up the left side, and then fade that across. Now I'm just going to go back and just layer the front edge of the mouth, and go around. I'm just adding these little points to the scales, going across the top edge. Now we're just going to layer the fangs in underneath. Start with the one on the back. Move forward and add another one. Now we're just adding some folds around the jawline. So we'll start with the main area first and add the layers after. Just gonna lightly shade the inside of the tongue. Now we're just going to darken out the back side of the throat and then fade that out as you go towards the left. And we're also going to go a little bit darker along the top. So the head's going to cast a shadow. We're just going to go around the teeth. I'm just going to fade this down towards the bottom of the mouth. Now let's just layer some texture along the center of the mouth. Now just adding a shadow across the bottom edge of the mouth to help give this some shape. And we're just gonna fade that up.
with the body. We're just going to add a shadow across the bottom and just blend that up. Leaving a little bit of a highlight along the bottom edge. Also adding a little bit more shadow underneath the hood. We're going to go in and add those lines back in. I'm just going to go back and add some fine detail across the head with the scales. Now, as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'll continue to add some more textures inside the scales and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a cobra. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.